Hey y'all, I got a video for you today. I'm gonna clean three skulls today that I finally took out of the freezer and had caped. Um, that video is coming soon. Uh, as of right now, I don't have it posted, but I got my setup right here, uh, propane burner. Uh, usually you can buy it for like dipping your turkeys and stuff for Thanksgiving. Um, a pretty big pot, probably not big enough for all three of my heads, but I'll do what I can. Obviously a pretty full propane tank. And then right here I got a five gallon bucket full of just water that I'm gonna boil, but instead of wasting propane on heating it up, I'm just gonna leave it out in the sun for uh, an hour while I go get some coffee because I can't function without coffee. If someone can put a coffee shop in my area, like right down the road right there, uh, you'll probably be making a lot of money off me and my family. So, especially me, so you could do that. But yeah, um, I gotta go get the heads. They're all in the freezer right now. I had them sitting in a bucket of water for a few days in the heat, and they, they swelled up like the, all the meat just soaked in all that water. That was just a tip that I heard from a buddy that caped them for me. So we'll see how that works, but I couldn't get to them in time and I had to put them in the freezer because this weekend we were supposed to take the horses up into the mountains. Such interesting and that didn't work out, so this is now plan B. And so I wanted to work on this originally, but because of the the horse strip and stuff, we had to postpone this project. But stay tuned, I'll go get some coffee, and I'll be back. Okay, I got my coffee. Frozen again. There you go. Put one of them in. Now we add a whole bunch of Dawn. Alright, there we go. It's got a bunch of dirt and stuff in it because I took the heads out and set them down on the ground to cut a lot of the meat and stuff off of it. Um, threw that in the dirt just to keep the dogs and the flies away and buried it all. But uh, this stuff's getting there. Hopefully shortly it'll start uh, falling off the bone really easy. The stench is atrocious. I can't stand that. I hate that. There's a lion. And the bear. The bear's jaws already fell off. All right, so here I have the two skulls and the jaw bones and then a bunch of the teeth fell out. So all that's in there. Uh, I may have lost a few teeth in the dirt you know, where I kept pouring out all the bad liquid and meat chunks and stuff. The flies are loving it. But uh, now I'm just going to add a whole bunch of baking soda. To that, oh, I don't know, probably like half a box. So I had the original liquid which was just uh, Dawn some regular Dawn and then once I got most of the meat out off of the, all the bones and separated all that 
poured it all out, cleaned it up as much as I could by hand, and now here's number two with clean water and baking soda. So hopefully that should take the remainder of the cartilage and meat and stuff off. But the uh, stench is absolutely horrible. I definitely did not do myself a favor by leaving it out outside in a bucket for a few days in the heat. Um, big mistake on my part, the stench is horrible. Uh, thankfully, all the stench is in the meat. The bones don't really have a bad smell. All that is now in the dirt. So it's just residual lingering scent now coming from the ground. But I usually do two skull, or I usually do one skull. This time I'm doing two, so the stench is probably twice as horrible as it normally would be. Uh, and the downside to doing this in the summer is the flies are absolutely brutal, and the the bees and and the wasps and stuff will just flock you. It's it's insane. Um, bad thing about doing it in the winter is, which you don't deal with flies and and wasps is. Uh, the propane you go through so much propane to get this stuff to boil so Or simmer I mean so Kind of a trade-off there, but I think I'd rather do this in the winter But then you're pressure washing you're cleaning everything outside everything's wet and it's freezing cold so You know definitely some trade-offs there right now. I'm just getting a nice suntan and uh, water's drying off really quick, so Okay, well after lots of cleaning and Reheating and draining the water over and over again. This is kind of where I'm at right now oh. I got the brain out of the bear Most of the teeth are still in on my other bears these teeth have fallen out so On my other bear I should say and so I'm really careful right now And I don't want to take it to the pressure washer with those teeth in because I might lose them and not be able to find them so but Hardest part is the brain. Got that out. Uh, just the nasal cavities kind of got some stuff. And then all the way around all these knobs and stuff is a whole bunch of cartilage. Really difficult to get out. But we're getting there. The lion. Pretty much same story. Except I can't get the brain out. And it's got these two sharp teeth in the back that won't come out and I'm not really worried about those right now because I tried taking them out with pliers and they just will not come out so the only thing now is really I just want to get the brain out so I don't just pressure wash brain all over myself but otherwise this is going pretty good and the smell ain't that bad anymore so we're getting there
Okay, so where are we at now? After pressure washing all the big pieces, um, I put all the teeth in there, just kind of lightly rinsed them off with all the pressure washed pieces in a bunch of warm water with some Dawn. And I'm just gonna let that stuff sit overnight probably and uh, come back in the morning. All this seemed a little bit oily still, so I'm just gonna hope that this kind of soaks in, cuts some of that grease. They've been sitting in this soap water overnight. Probably got rather rather uh, degreased. Still kind of smells bad, but I just gotta wash it all off. Look at that. There's the bear. There's the cat. I lost these two pieces right here, but then I ended up going back and finding them from the pressure washer, so I guess I blew that stuff out and it disconnected. So I definitely got to keep track of where all your stuff is so that you could uh, recover all that and super glue it all later. There's a lion jaw. Bear jaw. Tons of teeth down in here. Well, definitely doesn't smell great, but we'll wash it all out. Okay, now all this we'll put in here. All the small teeth and stuff. All the teeth right there. Only problem here now is these stink bad. They're full of tissues and nerves and a whole bunch of crap that needs to get dug out of them. So that's probably where most of the smell is right now. Now all these types of teeth the big roots like that these are pretty much entirely clean and scent free they just need to get whitened these have a whole bunch of stuff in them that have to get chipped out cleaned out so the, otherwise they will stink that's a big bear tooth right there all right perfectly placed right in the sunlight to get dried out and then we're gonna these right here can get dumped right into the acetone uh, to get fully de-oiled those will need to dry out and we'll pick them clean and throw them in the acetone after they're picked clean so 
Well, I'm just letting them dry out, all the water dry out, and then I'm gonna dip them in acetone and that should pretty much neutralize all of the natural oils. Just let them sit overnight or two. But right now I need to clean out the insides of these teeth. So I just got a dental pick and some nice tweezers and I'm just gonna go to work, try to get this stuff out. Looks like my pick ain't long enough. This is the biggest tooth I've ever cleaned, so uh, it used to be long enough. Not anymore. Oh, looks like the lion one is completely closed. Oh, there's stuff in there. How to get it out though, I don't know. Yeah. Lion teeth are gonna be a problem for sure. Got yeah. a bit in there, I don't know how to get it out. Bear teeth are definitely more open. A whole bunch of this nasty freaking bone marrow type stuff is coming out. Yeah, I don't know how to clean that. That's the crap you want out of there. All right. Got some of them clean. Definitely can't do the line ones as well. So I'm not too sure what to do there. Well, pick ain't deep enough for bear teeth. And lion teeth are way too small to tip to, to even stick this in there and grab anything. So I'm gonna have to uh, think of a plan B.
All right. There it is cooking again. I had to stop it last night since it got too dark out. But uh, this should be the final cooking. It wasn't coming off very well as much as I wanted it to. I think the other two did way better. And I'm not sure if I did something different or if it's just because it's an older skull and is more caked on there or what. But I thought it would be done last night, but it wasn't. But here it is cooking again. Hopefully this is the last time cooking before I go pressure wash it. All right, I finally have all three skulls down to bare bone. So some of these I couldn't get all the teeth out like that, so I didn't bother. Those teeth might not even be able to come out now. But uh, here are the teeth from this particular skull. And I'd like to get them all together, but there's one gallon of acetone and it's gonna take probably like 10 gallons, so I'm not gonna do all that. So a little at a time, there's the other bear and the other lion. And so I'm just pour, going to pour some acetone in here and let it sit overnight and get degreased. All right, we could probably fit some more in there. There's the lion ok 
okay. And then here are all the teeth from the other two, so I could just dump all that in here. Like so. And then there's not enough room for the other two skulls, so we're just going to let that sit. Give it a little bit of a shake in the morning, get the top of the skull in there. But that should get most of the oils dissolved. and should smell wonderful after this. There we go. Just like that. All right, that's sat in there overnight. Plenty of acetone left. So, acetone's really warm. So I'm going to take this one out. This one's pretty, uh, I don't know, pretty white looking. Look at this one. This one hasn't been in the acetone at all yet. It just got pressure washed. This is very white already, and I still haven't even whitened it yet with the peroxide. But I'm going to put this one in the acetone now. So this can, these teeth can come out. Get all this stuff out, make room for the other bear. Yep, just like that. And sassetone dries like instantaneously. Well, this this jaw, these two should stay in here. They're off the off of this older bear, and they're uh, a lot um, more colored than this younger bear right here. So I just want to make sure that all the oils and stuff are gone. Try to get this guy in here. I'll let that sit for a bit. Like so. See the color difference? I don't know if you can tell, but that one on the left is way whiter than the one on the right. The one on the right is my bear from this year, and I definitely think it was a much older bear. Okay, so now we're going to pour all this acetone back into the can. Go, got most of the acetone back. So, thanks for watching this video this far. Because this video is going to be so long, I decided to split it up into two parts. So, you just finished watching the cleaning part. Uh, what's next is the whitening part where I go through the whole whitening process start to finish and then putting all the bones and teeth and jaws and everything all back together into a presentable product. So 
thank you for watching this far. Please go find that video. That one should be right after this. And hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thank you.